How's it going, my dreamers? This is Born to Dream, back with episode number 11 of the Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition Let's Play. Be sure to leave a like down below if you're enjoying the video. Subscribe for some more Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition Let's Play content. And be sure to check out the playlist in the description down below if you'd like to see any previous episodes of the Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition Let's Play. Now, um, let's check out the team. And you guys know that these Pokemon typically learn things as moves. Usually Pokemon get four of them, a maximum of four. Um, here are the 24 moves right now. That was really quick math. Yeah, 24. <laughs> I forgot math for a second, but it's lit at night, so don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad if you're one of those people that really, really take math seriously. So. <laughs> Anyways, um, last episode, we went ahead, talked to the boss all the way up here. Boss gave us some information about the Mewtwo project years ago. And not only did he do that, but he also gave me a slightly more different, a little more spiffier look. And um, I quite like it. So, uh, so today we're gonna go ahead and uh, we have to go to Pallet. We have to go to Pallet Town. So we're gonna go to Pallet Town. We're gonna get some information, not only from Oak, but we're also gonna get some information about Red. Um, so we're kind of in over there just to sort of investigate things, investigate the situation. And uh, hey, Grunt. Yo, yo, yo! What's good, homie? Damn, boy! What's with the new getup? Say what? They made little grunt and admin now? Did they? That is not gonna work. Well, no jokes. So, now you can rob women and teenagers. Is that... Is... Is it? Haha, <laughs> congrats, bud. You know, given all my inborn gangster skills, it speaks to my modesty that they didn't promote me too yet, doesn't it? Well, you haven't done shit, buddy. Now, now. Any more juicy news? Oh, now you're going to pallet to integrate Professor Oak? Dude, no way. That's too rad. You know, they didn't give me a new mission yet. Uh-oh. Why... Now isn't that a prime opportunity? I'll come with you to Pallet Town and we'll beat up the old professor together. Oh man, fate is too kind sometimes, isn't, isn't she? Right. Well, Pallet Town, that's West Kanto, isn't it? So we either go south from Mount Moon or through the, that pesky Diglett Cave off by Vermilion and we'll be on the right track. Right on, let's get cracking. You had better be the good cop. Grunt, because I'm bad as hell. Alright. I think I'd make a good cop. I think I would. Yeah. I don't know. Um. No. Yeah, we got a little phone call here. I'll say what I'm going to say after this. Hi there, Grunt. It's been a while. Fill me on in on the latest Rocket News, if you would. Oh, now. The little autistic kid knocked you all senseless? Ha ha ha. Sorry, but I find that rather humorous, some kid. Oh, and and what? Giovanni finally revealed his wartime secrets? Good. Then we're fully on the same page now, aren't we? I suppose he told you about the catastrophe as well, then. Yes, yes. That Mewtwo is well shut off in Cerulean Cave. But I'm curious. Do you happen to know what became of Mew after the project was shut down? No? Very well. Keep up the good work, Grunt. You're a good friend to have. I'll talk to you later. Sounds good to me. Well, what I was going to say is uh, I could not grind in the last episode because I was trying to go out and grind. And then I ran into all that. And obviously, I wasn't going to like run into all that and like skip it and then go grind. And then it, it would just be awkward. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. So we're still way under leveled. If I ever find an opportunity to grind, as in if I walk out, um, 
we can fly, dude. If I walk out the door and, um, you know, there's no story or anything like that, I can immediately run to a patch of grass and start grinding, I will do that. But until then, we're just going to be un under level of shit. If, if we can't find an opportunity to grind until episode, like, or until we get to, like, level 40s, and I'm still at, like, 28s, um, it's just the way it is, I guess. This isn't a Nuzlocke, so I don't really care, but it does sort of, um, make the episodes a little more lengthy because, you know, I'm not knocking things out right away. Kind of like this Diglett here. Like, I can't just one-shot stuff like this. Just, just wait, just wait, just wait. Okay, I didn't one-shot it. See, that's why I need to grind. <laughs> but, um, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, sort of. We'll see. I'll probably grind after this next episode. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's go see Professor Oak. Gotta go through all these diglets here. And, uh, hopefully this is the right way to go. He said you can go through this way, but you have to cut. Oh my, is there a tree in there, there in the pass? Rest assured, it is no cause for dismay. Help is near. Oh, what the fuck? Burly! Tis I, Litio. Cutting aficionado at your service. Would you like to bear witness to these cut, cutting wonders of mine? I will annihilate for you all trees around Peter and Viridian, so they can hamper this Pokemon adventure of yours no more. For a modest thousand, naturally. I see that this region is not yet cultured enough to appreciate the fine art of a proper cut. Well, should the good sir ever change his mind, I'll never be away far from away from the bouquet. Great. Um, it's not that I don't want your services, dude. It's just that I don't have the money. Like I said, life has a rocket grunt. Kind of stinks, financially speaking. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, get some moolah here. I hate how we just went through Diglett's Cave and we're going to have to go back through there because I have to do this. Um... There we go, easy a thousand, right there. Okay, so we can sell these two because I'm not using these. Um, cleanse tag, I'll keep. Nugget, we're selling. Accuracy, yes. All right, we're at 7K, not bad. All right, cool. <clears throat> I can use some Pokeballs too, so I'm gonna grab some of those. And we still have enough, good. Wait, I might need some potions. How many potions do I have? Oh, 10? Fuck that. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what's, uh... Oh, I gotta get on my bike. Let's see what's going on at, uh, Pallets. Can I... Okay, so we have to do this whole bullshit again. Great. Good thing I can run from these diglets because I have a flying type in the front. And we have a flying type in the front in Diglett's tunnel. It's great because none of the Diglett's can trap you because you're a flying type. So that's pretty nice. Just a little food for thought there next time you decide to go through uh, Diglett's tunnel. Behold, I've returned. Ludo aspiring cut ma master cutter at your service. Do you wish? Yeah, sure. Whatever, dude. Ah, sir. I dare say you made an excellent choice. Now, if you'll allow me... Thanks, bro. Oh, my lord, what a cut. It nigh on brings a tear to my eye, dear trainer, every time. Well, should you ever need my cutting skills again by this region's most beautiful trees, is where you'll find me. Until we meet again. So I have to keep... So I have to keep doing this? I have to pay him a thousand every time I want a tree cut? One for your life, I have eight... Yeah, you're funny. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna need another thousand bucks then. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, well he said, yeah, he said he was gonna cut every tree around here. I guess. Okay. I didn't waste my money. Good. There's a little item over here, I think. 
Isn't there? Isn't there? Somewhere here. No? Yeah? Maybe? I don't know. Possibly? No? No item? Okay. Let me move on. Um... And now we're in Viridian. Oh! Oh, great. More of Dad's Goonies incoming now. Tell me. Why does he do it? Or do you all do his dirty work? Why? Is he too much of a coward to do things himself? Why couldn't he? Just come alone. Come along. Wow. It was never any use, was it? Welcome to Viridian City, right? Okay. Um... That was interesting. Silver is a little rascal. Let's go into this gem and see what's going on. Oh, hey there. What's up, guys? No, indeed. No new challengers have shown up, as I expected. Oh, the child you saw earlier. He's going through a tough upbringing, there's no doubt. But it's a tough world he's born into, make no mistake. <sighs> He'll grow out of his rebellious face soon enough. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Talk about a boring place to be stationed all out. I want to be where the action happens, you know? Did we get the item? No? It's not. Okay. Yo, check it out! Sup, bitches. Hold up. Sup, bitches! I'm the 8th gym leader. At your service. So, um... What do I do now? That I'm the 8th gym leader? I think I just stand here, right? Okay, I don't want to be the 8th gym leader anymore. Let's... Let's, uh... Let's move along. Let's... Let's... Let's go to Pallet Town. I had to make that really awkward for you guys. Um... I'm gonna heal because my Pidgeot, my Pidgeotto took a lot of damage. Right. And, um. Yeah. Off to Pallet Town we go. Remember when you first walked down this route as a trainer? Yeah, it's my first time walking down this route as a Team Rocket grunt. Feels. Team Rocket admin. Feels way better as a Team Rocket admin than just some random average red. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Sup, bitches. Here to steal all the Pokemon in this lab. Now I say, you've got some nerve coming here, Rocket. Professor Oak is an honest man and a respected academic. He has no business with thugs like you. Huh. <laughs> let's see about that. Oh my! Why? No, I'm afraid Professor Oak's not here. He has pressing research matters to attend elsewhere in the region. Please don't hurt me. As long as you don't have any rare Pokemon, you're good, dude. Oh. Sup, bro? What an Arceus name? A rocket in our innocent lab? What? No goodness, no. Professor Oak is not in. And I doubt very much he'd want anything to do with you if he were. Don't mind me. Oh, now stop right there, rocket. I may be a mere research aide, but I know better than to let you put your dirty fingers on the Professor Rare's Pokemon. Get off, or I'll put all the aids on you. So, what you're telling me is I can't have this Pokemon. Okay. Um. Well. Dude, technology, man. It's far out. Did you hear about the information super high highway? Pretty soon, we're going to get to download and play all sorts of games straight from the minds of lonely geeks without a Game Boy. Talk about a new world, man. Oh. What the fuck? Agatha? <clears throat> oh my. Now, isn't this a surprise? In all my visits to Pallet over the years, I have never thought I'd see a fellow like yourself in a peaceful place like this. 
You're here for Oak, aren't you? Hmm. Oh no. I have no intention of stopping you. We have much more in common than you probably think, Rocket. Say, it's not often we see a new face around these parts. Come in for a cup of tea if you're not too busy. Palette is such a wasteland for interesting tea conversations. Okay, why are we just walking into Agatha's house like this? What? Or just, excuse me, Blue's house like this, not Agatha. It could, could be Agatha's house too. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Well, well, your tea is excellent as always, Daisy. And the weather is so lovely. Oh, I do miss Palette sometimes. Daisy here is my granddaughter, Grunt. In fact, with her brother away on some Pokemon quest, I'm probably the only semblance of family she has left. Well, me and Professor Oak, when he bothers to show his face. A long time ago, we were a tight-knit couple, Oak and I. Samuel was a man of honor back in those days. He valued strength, diligence, and purpose, and he embodied it. We raised his son together in the image of those principles. Okay. I'm, I'm not... Okay. So, what I'm sort of, like, in shock about is that Agatha and Professor Oak were a couple. Um... First of all, I didn't know that was a thing. Second of all, I don't even know if that's a thing. Is that, like, in the manga or something? Like, the fuck? <laughs> Turned out with a great man and blessed us with two grandchildren to carry our values forward. But no sooner than Blue, their youngest had been born. The war struck our family. Daisy and Blue both survived unscathed, but our son and his wife both perished in the madness. And Samuel and I were we swore that we would avenge them. We would bring down Lance and make him pay for taking away our innocent children. <laughs> Would you believe it? He swore it to me. He gave his word, Grunt. And then, why just a little while later, he committed the most heinous, cowardly, shameful act I ever saw. He was champion, general of the army, the most powerful man in Kanto, and he gave it up. All just to save his worthless skin. The soft, spineless fool that surrendered to Lance is not the man I love. Even if he didn't stand a chance, even if sticking it out, fighting for something he believed in, would have ultimately meant his death. At least it would have been an honorable one. Grandpa? Grandma? Please. I'm sorry, Daisy. We're going there again. You know how I can get sometimes. I better get going, darling. Always work to be done. Do take care of yourself and send regards to your brother. You're such a lovely... You're, you are such lovely kids. I can't say I approve of what you and your boss are doing around Kanto grunts. But I can't say I don't sympathize with your frustration. Not quite respect, but understanding. Till we meet again. You know, I don't think Gram Grandpa is really a bad person. He's really very cheerful and friendly, the way they show him in the papers. He gave me and Blue a happy childhood, and I'm grateful. But, you know, there's just this one thing that always bothered me. Jeez, there you are, grunt. What's the holdup, dude? What the fuck? Why, I've been looking all over for you. Sorry to interrupt the friendly tea party and all, but yo, we got a Pokemon professor to interrogate. Let's go hand it to that old man. Oh, you got me tired waiting. Uh, dude, he's not around. Oh no, is it true, you disgusting thug? Grandma was wrong to trust a rocket for company. I knew I should have never have allowed you... 
should have never allowed it. I'm getting sick of this, dude. Gee, grunt. You sure have fixed yourself a feisty date, huh? Well, no time for that now. We gotta hit up this lab, pronto. In all my days, you're not going anywhere. I won't let any low-life thugs trespass on our home and family. Oh my god, Ronnie. You gotta open your fat mouth. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. I'll take the experience. I want some Pikachu in. Pikachu needs the experience. Okay, we're gonna go into No King now. Alright. Double kick this. Chancy. I should have gone for the um, focus energy. It's my bad. It's my bad. Okay. Let's see if this thing. Oh, it's gonna go for soft boil now. Oh, nope. She's going for the hyper potion. Well, shit. That really sucks. Yeah, see, everything here is level 30. So I do. I gotta find. I gotta find an opportunity to grind. Definitely, definitely. Do that. You need to grind like eight levels. It's so bad right now. <clears throat> All right, so we got level 22 Twister. Sure, why not? What if we find a Drutini? I guess. Um, we'll go for the uh, Twister there. For the uh, tackle, I mean. And then, uh, yeah, you need to gain a level, please. Two levels? Just one. Okay, that sucks. And then we got level 23. Oh, sick! Hell yeah! Been needing a good poison type move. Yes, I will definitely teach you poison tail. Awesome! Not bad at all. Yeah. About to send out Ponyta. Um, let me go into Slowpoke. And then, uh, should go on to Ponyta. I don't think this Ponyta can really do anything to me. I'm gonna put it to sleep though. Oh, tackle. Or takedown. That would be bad. That would be bad. That's why we're gonna put it to sleep. That's why you need to go to sleep. You missed two takedowns. Wow, I'm getting fucking lucky. Dude, I need all the luck I can get. Dude, you see how much damage that fucking slowpoke did just now? That's a slowpoke. Water gun's super effective against Ponyta. But I, I mean, I am 12 levels under. But that's, I mean, that kind of. Okay, whatever. Takedown. Um. Yeah, that's gonna do a lot of damage. I think I'm going to. Should I switch? I think I'm gonna switch. Neo King. I think Neo King could take a, a takedown. I think Neo King could take a takedown. Oh, you dodged it. Sick. Eh. It's better than Slowpoke, at least. I was kind of hoping for the Poison Point, but... It didn't happen. Okay. Nidorina! Hmm. We're going to Slowpoke if it wasn't already at yellow. I'm gonna go into uh, Scyther. I feel like Scyther would be the good move here. And we'll go for Focus Energy. So let's see. Probably gonna use Poison moves. Oh, you used uh, Bite. That's fine. Helping hand is not helping you. I don't know why you keep going for the uh, helping hand, um, but it's not helping you. And I get poison, which is fantastic. Fan flipping tastic. All right, so I just need one more wing attack, and then we're good. Or Gucci. Hey, got it off. Not bad. Not bad. Last one's a Raichu. Oh boy. That's not good. Whoops. I didn't. I was going over to the Neo King. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
It's fine. Because Raichu just ta is just going to take this Scyther out. Whatever. I mean... It's whatever. So... I'll go into uh, Nidoking. And it's basically 5v1 now. Uh, how much does double kick do? How much does one double kick do? 30. And this is 50. But that's stab, so it'd be 75. Okay, poison tail is better. And there's, there's a chance to poison. So, go for the quick attack. Hey, we get the poison. Nice. Alright, we should just be able to uh, whittle this uh, Raichu down now. But I am going to switch into Pikachu, because Pikachu needs the experience. Just for the quick attack. Yeah. Thankfully, the Raichu didn't take out Pikachu. That would have been bad. Pretty bad. It would have been a little upset. Alright. Uh, okay, we're good. Go ahead and go for uh, Super Potion. You know, despite me being so under leveled, I have not used very many potions. At least not in this battle. She didn't really have that good of stuff. Like, not really. Let's go for the uh, double, double kick. Oh, wait, that was stupid. I should have gone for Poison Tail. Hold on. Yeah. It doesn't matter, I, I beat it. See ya, bruh. Alright, Pikachu's level 20. Nice. Very nice. Daisy was defeated. I I won't accept it! Get out of our house! She looks pissed too. God damn. Yes, please. Say, why not steal the uh, Chansey? That's the only thing that's really interesting there. Would you like to give a nickname to the stolen Chansey? Yes, please. Um, let's call you. I'll call you freaking this. Because. I mean, I don't think I'm lying about that nickname. Phew, well done, Grunt. <clears throat> Quite the energy in this one, huh? Leave it to me now. Stand back. What the fuck? Radicate, Hyperfang, go! You just kill her? What the fuck? What? Why? Why did he do that? What the fuck? Was, was he afraid she was going to call the cops or something? What the fuck was that? Pokemon that strong on an unassuming girl like that. She's got some rich family or other. I'll bet my kidney. Right, Kate, okay, see if you can find any valuables around here to loot. Why do we bring this dude over here? Huh? What's the matter, Grunt? Why you look like you ain't ever seen a Raticate rocket in action? Haha, <laughs> you little sissy, you. I bet a good interrogation should wake you right up again, huh? Huh? What now? You check the lab and the old guy's not even here? Ronnie, you're such a fucking idiot. <laughs> you're such a fucking idiot. Well, gee, talk about a big fat waste if I ever saw one. Yeah, you ki killed a teenage girl, dude. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we got in a bit of action just now, then. It's not a good day without at least one robbery, am I right? Uh, I guess we might as well just head back to headquarters. Um, you do that. I'm supposed to still be here. Because I have to figure out 
What's going on with Red? Huh? Why, yes, this is Red's house. I'm his mother. But why? Oh, what do you want to know about him? I mean, he's a quiet boy. He always was so interested in Pokemon Battle and not much else, to tell you the truth. He never had many friends at all, except for Blue, who lives next door. But I don't know how good friends those two really all were. Wait, who are you to be so curious about my son? I, I don't like this very much at all. Please leave us alone. Okay, let's see. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, hold up. Save state real quick, because that's kind of trippy. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here, but... What the fuck? This is like some super Pokemon. Hey, V, Samus was a woman all along. This is like some super Pokemon Eevee kind of shit. What the fuck? Alright. It's post a posted notice. If you really want to get annoyed, press the L or R button. If you want really need help, go on YouTube. <laughs> oh, because of that, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um Well, I think after that very eventful episode there, um I'm gonna go ahead and uh and the episode off right here, Ronnie killed a little a teenage girl, and um, I feel like we're going to be in a lot of shit because of it, so, yeah. I don't know what else to say after that. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff in the next episode. Um, we're probably going to get our asses whooped by Giovanni, or at least Ronnie will. But because I know I know something bad is gonna happen because he fucking killed the professor's daughter. So, anyways, I will see you guys then. Keep living the dream. Goodbye.